Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you an end of week one update here. So please reply to watch the video and then read the message and reply for a couple of points. Um, so let's see. Uh, for fall, winter and spring quarters, Friday of week one is the last day you can drop a class for a full refund. Okay, so if you do that, you got to, the class will be removed from your transcript as if you've never enrolled at all. And um, it, it, it just won't show up. You won't have to pay for it. Everything will be deleted. Um, but of course, your number of credits will go down. And so that might affect your financial aid. So you've got to figure out about that. But to if you want to drop a class, you got to email enrollment at ghc.edu or talk to the Welcome Center on Zoom here um, during the shutdown. Okay. So um, let's go over a few things. First of all, how to turn in your work. You don't turn anything in until you take the chapter two and three test. Okay. And so always refer back to the orientation because I do have all these little videos that show how to do these things. So how to turn in your written work is here. And um, you can watch a little video, but basically um, all the, Ex all the um, all the instructions are here, and you can get um, you can get um, find a technique to use depending on whatever device you have. You know, Windows, Mac, iPhone, Android, all that type of thing. But but just to just to be clear, you turn everything in when you take the chapter two and three test. Let me show you that again. So you do everything from home. Don't show me any of your work yet. And it's not until you take the chapter two and three test. Um, that's when you turn it, uh, uh, because here you turn it in here. See that written work for chapters two and three. That's where you turn in your written work for chapters two and three. So you write down all the video examples and do the textbook homework. And you turn the work in here. You'll click take the quiz. And you'll have all of your pictures of all of your notes onto one file a pdf or something else and then you cho choose that file and put it in there and submit the quiz if you don't want to do that you could sometimes students make a little video and they just flip through their pages on a using a, a camera or an iphone or something and then they just send me the video so that's another thing but just try to get all of your video notes and textbook homework for chapters two and three into one file and uh, put it in here if you can all right um so that's that part. What else do we want to talk about? Yeah, so just please keep on keep on track with the schedule. Uh, remember to click on um, calendar over here. Remember to click on calendar and you can see what's due. Of course, the calendar for this class is just going to show you quizzes. Of course, we have video notes and textbook homework and discussions due. Um, most days as well so so make sure you're doing that as well um homework sharing right so our past students are saying that the the two best things to do to get through these classes are number one um play the videos and write down the all the examples right so make sure you're doing that and then do your best on the textbook homework but if you get stuck in anything um obviously check the odd numbered answers in the back of the book but but um also, always check out homework sharing because like I might have questions answered here already, right? So for like 2.1, I've got a whole bunch of questions answered here, right? And so oftentimes in this class, you know, it's a case that you just don't really know what the question wants you to do. And if you just click on it, um, then it might make a bit more sense, okay? So um, let's try this. I don't know how good this is going to look, but we'll have a look at it anyway. Okay, that looks okay. All right, so, you know, and the other thing is you might be just one little step away from the answer. So using homework sharing is great if if you're just kind of confused at what the question is asking or you're just a little bit off, right? Um, um, beyond that, if you're really confused about the, the concepts or the topics, l let's go to math help here, okay? And so math help... Of course, it's saying, look, you know, do the video notes and, and, and use homework sharing. But, like, you can email me and say, hey, you know, show me how to do 3.1 question 15 or 3.2 question 10. And I'll reply with the answer all written out. Okay. Or you can give me a call or click on Zoom. 
and go to my online office and I can shoot you with a with on a piece of paper with a camera pointed at a piece of paper okay and uh, we also have online tutoring so you can check that out as well and and find a tutor to help you but let me know if you're struggling anyway okay um let's see and I, I yeah I think that's that's all I've got so please keep up the good work um, let me know if you need help anytime. Give me a call, give me an email, and um, and keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you soon.